Were you truly unhappy in Maryland? I mean, Tyler said he left because he was unhappy. Were you yes. in the same situation too? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I think this. You know, the. You know, you come to college just to be happy. Um, you know, personally and you know, athletically, um, and academically. You know, just find the right fit for you. Um, it's all about being happy. How many times have you gone against Trent Brown in one-on-one -on -one drills or anything like that? <laughs> How'd that work out? It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard. Trent is one of the biggest guys I was talking about. He's six nine. I just found out yesterday. He's six nine. And um, that's a big guy. Just being able to get around him sometimes is is a relief. You know, it takes it takes a little while to get around him, but as long as I get around him, I'm good. Have you try, ever tried to bull rush him? Oh yeah, I did, and it wasn't great. <laughs> You're the toughest guy you've had to get around. Um, Trent Brown. Yeah, he's really big to get around. I mean, the other guys, they're good. Chaz Green has a really good set, and it's uh, he makes it difficult for. Some of, some of the defensive players to work their moves because the set is so good that it's kind of hard for you to know what move you want to do against them. Are you any more nervous against Trenton than anyone else as far as maybe he might step on your foot or fall on you or anything? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, yeah, it is scary. I, I never want Trent to ever fall on me because if he does, I'm pretty sure my body will be printed in the grass. So. <laughs> <laughs> does he have a nasty streak too, Trent? Yeah, yeah, he got a little nasty streak. <laughs> But you don't want that nasty shoot to come out, I tell you that. But what's Trent and Brown like? Big Trent. <laughs> Big Trent is like a comedian. We love Trent, you know yeah. what I mean? We, we love him. Coach Coach said he doesn't talk a lot, but we love him. He always talks about us. But Trent, it's like I don't know if you guys ever watched the show Phineas and Ferb. We're a lot older than The brother of Phineas never says anything, but when he says something, it's usually like detailed and hilarious. So when, Fe when Trent says something, it's always like, oh my, because he never, like, he's always just chill, you know what I mean? He's, he's not, you're going to get a yes or no out of him for the most part. I think part, you and Bullard will always be kind of linked since you came in at the same time and play the same position. Yeah. What is you guys' relationship like? Um, John John is like my brother. Um, you know, that's just how it is. You know, we was two good guys coming out of high school. And, uh, you know, we told each other, I just, we just got to face the fact of us, you know, being compared to each other a lot. But, you know, John John brings some stuff to the table that he does well. I bring some stuff to the table that I do well. He's a great run stopper. I'm a great pass rusher. So, I mean, we just take it, you know, as a good thing. You know, we love each other. We call each other the Bass Bros and whatever. We got our nicknames. Fowler said you guys have uh, a couple of little celebration moves that you've worked on. How many do you think you have? Uh, right now, as I know of two, but he always okay. making something up. Actually, it was a funny because I'm um, going through recruitment. Coach Lowen always told me every time I talked to you, uh, Bullard, I'm going to coach you. I'm going to coach you. So <laughs> when he came here, you know, the first time I seen him, he said, Bullard, I didn't think he was going to be here, but didn't I tell you I was going to coach you? <laughs> so 